what's up guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you the implementation of a repository pattern inside Laravel for example we will take the to do application now if you see the diagram this is our entity we have a controller we have a model we have a to do repository and we have another class which is a eloquent to do class now how does everything link together I have this controller which is being injected this to do repository this is an interface now this interface tells me that these are the five methods which I need to implement whenever this interface is being implemented by any class I have the eloquent to do class which is basically implementing to do repository so I have written the implementations of all the five methods I am passing the to do model inside my eloquent to do so that I can use the eloquent ORM and that's how the entire repository pattern comes into play so now I will show you how to implement the repository pattern inside Laravel the to do being a very common application we can easily understand the implementation now to start with here is my code base and this is where you know I have left in my gallery application as you can see I'll first create the repository folder although there is no hardbound rule on how we want to go about it but yeah this is the repositories folder we will put all the repositories here I'll create a folder called to do so that each entity has a new folder for it and I will create a new class I'll name it let's say to do repository and let's fix the namespace and this is going to be an interface alright now what are the different methods or another you know, the functions which this interface needs to define we will need a get all so that we can fetch all the entries you know we can reference our diagram as well then we will have get by id I'll pass the id here create so that's the next function will be create where I'll pass an array of attributes alright and then the next is public function update I'll pass the ID first and then an array of attributes again alright then the last one will be delete where we will just pass the ID of the entity so yeah that's the five methods which we require in the interface and now it's time to create a new class which will implement this interface we will call it eloquent to do let's fix up the namespace All right and the rest of the things are right so yeah eloquent to do it should implement the interface which is to do repository so you can see the red mark which means there's something wrong let's add the stubs okay everything is ready we will write down the implementation of each method but now the thing is I can use the model to do something like you know to do all and I can return that but then I'm kind of binding the model inside it which is not a very good thing so first thing which we will do is first let's create the model let's say artisan make model dash m for the migration and we have the file quickly run through the database migration file a string text field okay an integer user id field and last a boolean let's say completed alright yeah that's about it that's all we need in the migration 
into the model we will populate the dollar protected array for mass assignment so text is ready and then the completed so let me quickly add these files into git they were created through artisan so git add i forgot the short shortcut it is i think mac alt a yes that works so what we can now do is we'll inject the model inside the eloquent implementation of the interface so we create the constructor i'll say to do which will be model initialize this it will be a private variable and then we set that property to dollar model inside the constructor okay and then we can go ahead and do something like this model all so basically all static methods of a model are now available inside the model so we can do this model no. right and then we can do this model create I'll pass the attributes okay for the update we have a little different logic first we will load the entity so this model I can do find a fail right and then to, to update pass the attributes all right and then oh no I don't need this yeah update is good enough I can just return the to do so yeah um, I can just return the to do here so I'll say return to do yeah that's it and now for the delete I'll first find the entity this model I can do get by ID pass the ID and then I can do delete so yeah I'll return a true in case we do any if logics with that function so yeah, that's about it that's how we have implemented this interface into the eloquent to do and we have our migrations and the model ready now it's time to create the controller and implement it let us create a controller we will name it to do controller it will be a plain controller and let's just go here i'll need a constructor so inside this i'll call the to do repository i'll name it dollar to do okay let's initialize this field okay and the docs is ready so yeah i don't need this line so i have the constructor with dollar to do as you can see here i am implementing or rather injecting the to do repository but i have not mentioned which implementation laravel should inject so how will laravel understand which class it should auto load when we are just implementing or telling him to load an interface so this is app service provider is the place where we need to tell laravel that you know this is the implementation we need to load so i'll do this app singleton i'll first pass the rep interface this to do repository class and the interface sorry the implementation let me import the files okay this is correct and this one as well so yeah that's about it that's how now laravel will be able to understand which implementation of the to do repository interface should be loaded now coming back to the controller do a return this model uh, sorry to do and then get all you can see all the methods were available there you know let us 
seed some dummy data i'll open my terminal go into my home state worm and yeah yeah i'm in the correct place php tinker let me create a few entries so yeah we will pass the text property then we pass the user id for now we can hard code it to one and they complete it so yeah one is created let us create one more all right we have two which we can use to list down so yeah let's go to our routes.php create a new url let's just say it will be a get url right let me name it um, my dash to do's right to do controller at the right the function name is get all to do's so yes that's about it let's go let me duplicate it and inside this change the url my dash to do's and we are getting the json we have four i added two. Oh, i remember so basically i was trying before creating the tutorial so those are the two you know uh, entries which i have let me open the database and i can show you so inside the storage folder where is it storage database.sqlite and then the sqlite is the database which i'm using uh, okay i don't want the newest version now i'll go to browse data select the table and yeah we have four entries in the database to make sure we are on the right track let me create one more okay let's just say add one more to this db hit refresh and you can see this is the correct implementation so yeah that's about it that's how you know we use the repository pattern inside laravel believe me it's a very good way of doing large-scale application development and throughout this series i will try and you know make you understand what are the advantages of using this you know uh, development method thanks for watching guys